Hello, good evening, and welcome back. We have a great story today, and uh, importantly, the response to it. So, Derbyshire police mocked over kiss on the cheek assault appeal. So, this is completely as ridiculous as it sounds, that Derbyshire Police posted the appeal on its website and social media accounts on Saturday, which asked for help to find a man who kissed a woman on the cheek to thank her for helping him when his lawyer became stuck under a bridge in Matlock. The appeal was ridiculed, with one person on Twitter arguing that a kiss on the cheek isn't a crime. The force later pulled the appeal from its accounts, explaining the post drew a significant number of comments that were counterproductive to the nature of the appeal. So, I'm not sure that you've all heard this kind of thing before, and you can click away now if you feel so inclined, but... It is worth mentioning again and again and again and again that these kind of things do exist. These laws are in place, and yes, they will be enforced if they can be. If you have the wrong sort of police officer who just wants to uh, put power over other people instead of actually understand that the idea is to protect individuals. When you look at the uh, wolf whistling being a, a hate crime <laughs> from a couple of years back, that these kind of things will get progressively worse and worse and worse. And, of course, we see that it's the same agenda being pushed forward in terms of coronavirus and social distancing, even when unnecessary, and then not being allowed to meet up with your friends, even if you maintain social distancing, and that now you are only allowed to meet up with one, even if you maintain social distancing. So, yes, you might walk past a load of strangers and still keep your distance with them, but if you find a friend, then oh no, you're not allowed to be with them. So you might be with someone else from your household, out for a walk and then bump into somebody else with someone from their household, and now there are four of you. So even though you may already be friends or you might become friends, that isn't allowed because now you're meeting up with two people who aren't in your household. And it's the same thing. It's the same as these acts of kindness here that you would have and a a sweet gesture that is then seen as a crime and therefore the Derbyshire police have actually launched launched an appeal about it. Thankfully the response has been sensible that there is actually uh, this is obscene enough for regular people the, the normies to reply with this is ridiculous this is not a crime why are you wasting your time on this please go do some actual police work people are getting raped and murdered and maybe that is more important for you to turn your attention into instead of just a kiss on the cheek. And that is incredibly fantastic news because the slippery slope argument is not a fallacy, it is actually true and that you will have freedoms and liberties eroded away slowly but steadily, day by day, week by week, month by month, year by year, and so on. And therefore, when they overstep the mark, jump the gun and try to launch an appeal of something as ridiculous as this, we can point it out for its ridiculousness and ridicule it and mock it exactly as it should be instead of though, oh no, that makes sense now as things like the aforementioned social distancing rules for people outside of your household that they seem acceptable because of course it's a it's a slow route in order to get there and the same thing when it goes for, oh, you know, uh, women's rights, that's important because they're humans and humans have rights. It's like, well, yes, of course, that we're not arguing about that at all. That's definitely the case and everybody should have e- equal rights and equal opportunities, no doubt about it. But then that slowly slides into equal outcome and then that slowly slides into preferential treatment and then you go, well, actually, no, I mean, you've, you've been pushing this narrative of somebody, some group being oppressed for so long that this is apparently now just blindly accepted as fact, even though it is no longer true. And if we go to what the laws state, you'll you'll see that that is definitely not true. And then even if you look to what the effect of them have been, uh, we could talk about university uh, applicants, students and graduates, and even the salaries below 30, then you'll see that it is clearly not true that the women are the oppressed class, not in the slightest. And yet, of course, this is still pushed on and on, and it is exactly the same thing that is happening here. And the unfortunate thing is that we can see that that the police are not admitting that they've done something wrong, admitting fault and blame, and saying, okay, yeah, we, we did kind of overstep the mark there. Um, the police in, uh, who are responsible for this are being held accountable and they are to understand that this is not the kind of thing that we need to launch an appeal of. No, instead, 
The reason they pulled it was, as they say, the post drew a significant number of comments that were counterproductive to the nature of the appeal. I would say, although you might think initially, well, they're not helping with the appeal in itself. That's correct, but they are helping in the much more important and meta part of it, helping with the significance of the appeal. To say such an appeal is ridiculous. This is not something that should be looked into as a crime or sexual assault. Of course not. And yet, the police aren't taking that at all. They aren't realising that this is a stupid implementation of a law that is supposed to protect people and is instead distancing people. It is supposed to make people feel safer. Laws are there in order to protect people, not to make them fearful and afraid. At that point, the law has overstepped the mark and is no longer helping the people. It is meant to help. So to give benefit to the doubt, the force of the victim, a woman in her 70s, was very distressed, especially at a time when close contact with strangers is to be avoided, and added, we take all allegations of this nature extremely seriously. Despite removing the details of the incident, police said people with information could still get in touch. So, yeah, you can get in touch if you want, you can talk to the police about anything, why not? You might be laughed out of the, the office, but yes, of course, you can talk to them about whatever you wish. The lady in question who was concerned about s social distancing the, the point of which it's um, having helped the guy because his lawyer got stuck, it seems most likely that they would have had significant close contact before that. And if somebody is concerned and not wearing any PPE whatsoever, then you would quite rightly presume that, okay, they're not really concerned or taking it that seriously. If it is someone like this who is very, very scared and is in an at-risk group and yet is still out and about doing regular things, then chances are they're not concerned about it. So, unfortunately, I'm not not going to give as much leeway there. Do people get the, the wrong idea? Yeah, yeah, of course they do. But is this guy making a move? N no. 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 Really no. Kiss on the cheek to say thank you. Fair enough. Especially considering that the woman is in her 70s, unless we're thinking that there's either some guy who really likes those gilfs, or that lorry driver was also an old chap looking for someone just a couple of years younger. I think it's safe to assume that this isn't any anything close to sexual assault. And I'm just glad that the response from the public has been to mock and ridicule this tremendously. And that is what I will continue to do. Because this is something that is ridiculous and worthy of the mockery that it is getting. So hopefully we can all take solace in knowing that even when the government is trying to strip away liberties and say that we can't be out, we can't meet friends, that when it gets to something else that is equally ridiculous, maybe more so, that there are people, there are regular folk, in fact most people would say, mm, yeah, a bit much there, how about you step it back a bit. So there's a nice start to the week, and as always, until next time, have a good one.